much. I now give the floor to the representative of United Nations Watch. You have the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. Next week is detailed in document HRC-33-3. This Council will elect members of its advisory committee. In the 1960s, when it was known as the Subcommission, our founder, U.S. civil rights leader Morris Abram, was an active member. We continue to believe in the importance of the election criteria, which include competence and contributions in the field of human rights, high moral standing, independence, and impartiality. In that regard, we consider the sole candidate for the Western seat, nominated by Switzerland. We need to ask whether the criteria are satisfied. On the matter of human rights competence and contributions, it is stated that the candidate was this council's expert on hunger. What is not stated, however, is that in 2002, the head of the World Food Program, Executive Director James Morris, sent urgent letters to Secretary General Kofi Annan warning that the candidate, in his actions, a special rapporteur on the right to food, was engaging in, and I quote, profoundly immoral actions and inflammatory politics that endangered the lives of millions of starving people worldwide. In 2005, the candidate's actions were criticized by both Secretary General Annan and High Commissioner Louise Arbour. Why, Mr. President, was this omitted? On the matter of high moral standing, it's stated that the candidate has received 10 different prizes. What is not stated, however, is that on 29 September 2002, in Tripoli, Libya, the candidate received, and I quote, the Muammar Gaddafi Human Rights Prize. I will say that again. The Muammar Gaddafi Human Rights Prize. Nor is it stated that in 1989 the candidate was actually the co-founder of the Muammar Gaddafi Human Rights Prize. When we raised this back in 2004, the candidate for 10 years denied any involvement with the prize until video was finally revealed in 2013. Then he claimed it, he gave it back. Will Switzerland investigate if he also returned the $100,000 award money taken from the Libyan people to defend a brutal dictator and rapist?